Jeff Baker here with Seabreeze Computers. If you're using your Windows computer and you turn it on and you get the following error message from Startup Repair that uh, Windows Startup Repair cannot repair this computer automatically, what do you do? I can't cover every possible solution for this error, but uh, in this video we'll cover just the most popular solutions that will hopefully uh, fix this problem if you get it. So here we go. First you want to close the front startup repair window and then click on view advanced options for system recovery and support. On the next screen, take note of the operating system drive letter. It will probably be listed as C colon or D colon. We might need to use this drive letter later on in the repair process. So now click on command prompt. Type boot rec space slash fix mbr and press enter. Then type boot rec space slash fix boot and press enter. If the commands were successful, then close the command prompt window and click on restart and see if Windows starts normally. If you receive the error, the system cannot find the path specified, then you may need to change uh, a setting in BIOS. Close the command prompt window and click on restart. And now you'll want to repeatedly press the key to enter BIOS. Sometimes the computer will display this key while restarting. Uh, the most popular keys to repeatedly press to enter the computer BIOS is either the F2 key or the Dell key. Keep pressing them over and over. In the BIOS, we need to look for the SATA mode. In some computers, it's under Main and then Storage Configuration. If the SATA mode is set to AHCI, then change it to IDE. If the SATA mode is set to IDE, then change it to AHCI. The SATA mode setting may be under Advanced and then Onboard Device Configuration. And then look for the mode under Controller. Again, if it is set to AHCI, then change it to IDE. If it's set to IDE, then change it to AHCI. Save and exit the BIOS, usually by pressing the F10 key. If Windows still does not start normally and Startup Repair is unable to repair the computer automatically, then click on View Advanced Options for System Recovery and Support. Remember to take note here of the Operating System Drive Letter and then click on Command Prompt again. If you previously had received the error, the system cannot find the path specified for boot REC, go ahead and try those commands again. Type in boot REC space slash fix MBR, press enter, and then type in boot REC space slash fix boot and press enter. Now we want to check the hard drive for errors. Type in check disk, which is spelled C-H-K-D-S-K, -K, space C colon space slash F space slash R. Now remember to change the C to a D or whatever drive letter you noted previously and press enter. This will take quite a while. After it is finished, Take note if there is any bad sectors. If there is, then you will want to figure out a way to back up your data, either purchase a new computer 
or purchase a new hard drive to install Windows on. If you are purchasing a new hard drive, then you will have to have previously made a Windows Recovery DVD on your computer, which most people don't do, or you might have to order one from Microsoft or from the manufacturer of your computer. Now, one way to back up your important data files is to connect an external hard drive or USB thumb drive to your computer. And while you're here in command prompt, you can type in notepad and press enter. Once you're in notepad, click on file and then click open. Change files of type to all files. Now click on computer on the left and then go to your important data on your hard drive. You have to look for it probably in the users folder copy and paste it to your external hard drive. For example, to copy your pictures folder, click on your computer's local disk drive letter, which is probably C or D. Go to the user folder and then go to your username and then right click on my pictures and then click on copy. Now click on computer again and then go to your external hard drive or your USB thumb drive. Inside of that, right click and click on paste, and that will copy your pictures. If there were zero bad sectors on the hard drive when you ran check disk, then that is a good sign. Close command prompt and click on restart. If Windows still does not start normally and Startup Repair cannot repair the computer automatically, then we have another fix to try. We can run System File Checker. So go to Command Prompt and type the following. Type SFC space slash scan now space slash off boot dir equals D colon or C colon, depending on the drive your operating system was installed on that you noted earlier, backslash, space, forward slash, off wind dir equals D colon or C colon, backslash, windows. Press enter. If you get the message, there is a system repair pending, which requires a reboot to complete, restart Windows and run SFC again, then type in the following command. Take down space slash F space D colon backslash Windows backslash win SXS backslash pending dot XML. Remember to replace uh, the D with uh, C or the other drive letter we noted before. Press enter. Type REN for rename space D colon backslash windows backslash win SXS backslash pending dot XML space pending dot old. Remember to replace the D with C, possibly, if your hard drive is on C instead of D. Now press the Enter key. Now you're going to have to retype SFC space slash scan now space slash off boot dir equals D colon or C colon or another drive letter that you noted backslash space slash off wind dir equals D colon backslash windows and press enter. Hopefully after running system file checker you get the message that if found corrupt files and successfully repaired them. Now restart windows and hopefully this time windows starts normally if it does not then you may need to take your hard drive and connect it to another computer 
to run some of these uh, checks and these commands on it from another computer. Or you may have to have a professional computer technician take a look at your computer.